The new K-9 howitzer, South Korean design and developed, will give the Republic of Korea Army a significant improvement in capability over the current M10-9-2. With a claim to range of 40 kilometers, it offers greater mobility, longer range and higher rate of fire, and increased battlefield survivability as it can quickly be brought into action, open fire, and come out of action. State-of-the-art mobility subsystems include a 1,000-horsepower engine with potential for growth and hydrop pneumatic suspension unit. Loud noise from hydraulic generators, which can cause hearing loss under long exposure, was also a problem. The engineers of the ADE and Dongmyong Heavy Industries found that the noise was due to excessive shaking of hydraulic pressure, thus creating an experimental device using the principle of Helmholtz attenuators used in car mufflers. The noisy equipment became quieter, and the hydraulic pulsation was significantly reduced. Overall, the domestic design showed driving precision of less than 1 mil in the standard error range. The ADD saw that HSU Hydro Pneumatic Suspension Unit provides better mobility and crew comfort. At that time, HSU caused problems with some equipment, and it was yet to be fully verified for durability, igniting controversy internationally. Therefore, it was inevitable to introduce and localize British Airlog HSU that are used for K9 Kunder. After firing 12,000 rounds and driving 18,000 kilometers, 11,000 me over 10 years, the development was finished on 12 October 2022 with achieving 87% localization rate. The contract for the first batch of K9 artillery system was awarded to Samsung Aerospace Industries on 22 December 2222. The K9 uses the Tail I-5000 for its INS, purchased from Honeywell Aerospace after. The development of a ring laser gyroscope system that can withstand the shock from gunfire. The positioning device consists of a ring laser gyro that can detect up to 1 10 thousandth of Earth's rotational angular velocity an accelerometer that can detect up to 100,000 of Earth's gravitational acceleration, and a navigation computer that calculates using data detected by these sensors. This positioning device calculates the location of the self-propelled gun, the azimuth angle of the gun to the north, and the elevation and inclination angle of the Earth's horizontal plane by itself. The calculated navigation information and posture information are provided to the fire control system, which has a positional accuracy within 10 meters, an azimuthal accuracy within 0.7 mil, and an elevation and inclination angle accuracy within 0.35 mil. The K9 has both manual and automatic electronic fire control system. The manual fire control system is similar to that of K55, while the AFCS consists largely of a system controller display a shooting controller with a built-in ballistic program, a communication processor, and a power controller, and serves as an interface between the operator and the machine. Various electronic control devices such as positioning devices, gun and turret driving systems, ammunition transports, trigger devices, gun temperature sensors, and radios are interlinked to achieve automation. The AFCS uses ballistic programs and muzzle velocity sensors to calculate firing data on its own, as well as to receive shooting commands via data and voice communication from the PTS. The FCS is the first of its kind in that it can calculate weather measurements by altitude, thus providing more precise shooting specifications. The vehicle has a combat weight of 47 metric tons and can support a team of K-9 by carrying and resupplying 104 shells of 155mm artillery ammunition and 504 units of charges under heavy fire. The vehicle is operated by a three-person crew, requiring only one motor by applying fully automated control system, and transfers ammunition at a maximum speed of 12 roundsmen. It takes 37 minutes to fully load and 28 minutes to empty K1. It is often called the briquette car by military and defense industry officials. The attack also disabled main power station of the base, shutting off the radar temporarily. After relocating to a fortified position, the Marines responded with three K-9, including one damaged vehicle, 
to pre-designated positions at Mudo, as they were unable to locate North Korean artillery positions. K-9 were able to employ counter-battery fire. Only after reactivated, radar detected North Korean artillery positions at Kamori from the second wave of incoming attack. Another K-9 joined the fight after switching to manual firing mode, increasing the number to four. Additional and different type of ammunitions were supplied by hand at the gun emplacements. On 21 October 2022, Finnish Ministry of Defense authorized exercising option to purchase 10 additional units, including spare parts and supplies minus five in 2021 and another five in 2022 for 30 million euros, increasing the fleet size to 58 vehicles. The K-9 Thunder is a 155mm 52 caliber self-propelled howitzer developed by Hanwha Tekwin, formerly known as Samsung Tekwin, for the Republic of Korea Armed Forces. The howitzer is designed to provide effective and deep fire support in all kinds of theaters. Built on high mobility platform, the K-9 delivers a high rate of fire at long range. This avoids the exposure of crew to the combat environment. Two K-9 guns and can carry 104 rounds of ammunition. The K-9 Thunder is powered by an MTU-MT881 Ka 508-cylinder water-cooled diesel engine coupled to the Allison at DX1100. 5 at 3 transmission. The engine develops a power output of 1000 up with a power-to-weight ratio of 21.6 up. The driver being seated front, left with the power pack to his right, and with the remainder of the vehicle being taken up by the turret and crew compartment. Wherever possible, to reduce development time and costs, Proven subsystems were used in the development of the K-9. The power pack, for example, consists of the German-designed MTU-MT881 Ka 500 V8 water-cooled diesel developing 1000F, coupled to an Allison Transmission Division X11005, a three fully automatic transmission with four forward and two reverse gears. This transmission is a further development of that installed in the General Dynamics Land Systems M1 series of MBT. The diesel fuel tank is located at the front right side of the hull, with the battery compartment being front left. The air intake and outlet louvers are in the roof, with the exhaust outlet on the right side. The indirect fire sight is mounted on the left side of the turret roof and is provided with a ballistic cover. The commander and gunner are seated on the right side of the turret. Mounted on the forward part of the commander's cupola is a 50mm M2HB machine gun for air defense slash local defense purposes and a single piece hatch cover is provided which opens to the rear. A door is provided in the left side of the turret and there is also a large door in the chassis rear for crew entry and ammunition resupply purposes. The 155mm 52 caliber main armament has a chamber volume of 23 lighters and is fitted with a slotted muzzle brake and fume extractor. The large multiple slotted muzzle brake reduces the firing impulse applied to the recoil system and also provides a superior capability of attenuating the blast overpressure and flash. The vertically sliding breech mechanism automatically opens upward after firing and obturates the propellant gases with the high-strength obturator ring in the barrel assembly. The primer magazine automatically feeds, inserts and extracts the primers and movement of the breech block, allows for the continuous firing capability of 21 rounds. The gun mount, which consists of two hydraulic recoil brakes with an internal buffer and a pneumatic recuperator, reduces the firing impulse to the chassis. The high-rigidity cradle is fitted to the autoloader to the rear, which has enhanced the firing accuracy by minimizing the lateral motion of the barrel when firing. When traveling, the 155 caliber barrel is held in position with a travel lock installed in the forward part of the hull. This is operated by the driver by remote control, so ensuring the NBC integrity of the vehicle. 
Mounted over the rear part of the 155mm caliber ordnance is a muzzle velocity measuring system that feeds information to the onboard computer. This Doppler type system has a muzzle velocity recording range of from 20 to 2000 meters s. A burst rate of fire of 3 rounds could be fired in 15 seconds, with a maximum rate of fire of 6 to 8 rounds a minute for a period of 3 minutes. Sustained rate of fire is 2 to 3 rounds a minute for 1 hour. A thermal warning device is fitted as standard, and this feeds the temperature of the barrel to the automatic fire control system. 